of uh, big Cliff Razarenko and how good to see him back on the dartboard and how good to see him winning and winning in such convincing style. He's one of the big names of darts, one of the big characters of the game. This tournament, well, it's a lot about the pub qualifiers, the 32 who are fighting their way through to meet the big boys in round four of the competition. Our next player on the main stage, a true high flyer. Hello and welcome to Birmingham International Airport. My name's Mark Hilton and I'm an airline cabin manager for BMI Baby. Let's go inside. <laughs> OK, this is the, uh, the forward galley. This is where the manager does his work. Uh, here we've got the, the boilers, the ovens and the catering. We've got the flight deck here, of course, and we've got the toilets. And in the middle of the cabin, we've got the seats and the overwing exits. Well, this is the rear galley. This is where all the bars are and the ovens are, and we've got the rear toilets. Uh, before we can board the passengers, we need to do the security checks, which we've just done, and now I'm just going to give the OK to the captain. Cabin secure, Captain. OK for boarding. Thank you. So now I'm off to Paris, and that's my day job. As you can see, in the day I fly for a living, but in the evening, it's the darts that do the flying. I first started playing darts after watching the darts on the television, you know, watching the likes of John Lowe and Eric Bristow, and that spurred me on. I found it exciting and wanted to be like them. I first started playing properly when I used to go into the garage and the board was about four foot off the ground and I used to practice in the freezing cold and play for hours and hours on end. Um, I first started playing darts for a team through my dad, who was uh, a top player in the area at the time. And luckily I signed for the, one of the best teams in the area and I luckily got into the team and found I had an aptitude for it and really enjoyed it and it went from there really. I was relieved that I actually made a TV final and uh, obviously I was very proud of myself. It's been on my mind all the time. Um, I know who I'm playing, Ray Carver, the American number one and he's a, a fantastic player. He's a left-hander like me um, and I'm just trying to work out in the head how I'm going to approach the game and how I'm going to play it on stage but I'm sure It'll happen as it happens, but uh, I'm under no illusions that it's going to be a tough game. I know I'm the underdog, I know he'll be, he won't know me, he'll be expected to beat me, so hopefully that will play to my, to my strengths. At the moment, that's my final. I'm lucky enough to be on the main stage and I'm focusing on getting through the first round first and that's, that's all that's important. I've put a lot of work in it over the years and, and I've, I've tried to, to, to enter big tournaments and hopefully this is, is, is paying off, but I know deep down that what I can do in practice, if I can transfer that to the stage, I, I could be a match for anybody. Well, there he is, the, uh, the man of the moment, Mark Hill. And interesting though, you had two left-handers. Head-to-head, -head, Ray Carver, second highest ranked player in America in the PDC Order of Merit, behind his uh, close friend, practice partner, John Kaczynski. We'll be joined. Well, names to look out for uh, out and about. We're concentrating on board Parker number one at the moment, Ray Carver from the uh, USA against the airline cabin manager, Mark Hilton, the pub qualifier from the West Midlands. Uh, how will he get on? Uh, Rod Harrington and Dave Lanning picking up the commentary for you. Ray requires 60. Well, you heard the referee. Ray Carver, by far the most experienced international campaigner, looking at double top and now double ten to take the opening leg. 50. In this uh, match here. Mark required 57. And a swinging Bolton Wanderers football ground. This is this wonderful character, Mark Hilton. Call him Mile High. You know why? Game and that wasn't a mile high. Leg. That was Mark absolutely Hilton. spot on. Second leg, Ray to throw first. That's the way he did it. Game on. And the airline worker, Rod, is flying high. Yeah, certainly. That should settle him down, Dave. And, uh, taking the first leg against Ray Carver, who is a, a, you know, a top experienced player on this stage. He played for America, one of the top Americans. A good player. An unusual, Dave. Two left-handers in the same match. Not very often we've seen that. 65. Not very often we've had uh, two left-handers in the big time. But but never mind in the same match. But uh, Carver, a fluent player, good tactically. 131. Big Strong chap. He uh, used to play big league softball in the States. And indeed, he's a big time golfer. Hit the ball right over the hotel in Dublin last year, Rod. 
100. Yeah, perhaps he should have uh, switched there. That second dart um, was a little bit covering it. But Carver has got a good rhythm. And when he starts hitting the treble 20, he's a fine player. And he needs to get in some rhythm. 100. These preliminary rounds, you're very nervy. You don't know what to expect from your opponent. This guy looks very capable, confident, self-assured. 100. Good release. And he's a leg up. 130. 130. Watch for the ball here. 84. Well, he could have gone for the ball, but he saw his uh, rival back on 236, so opted out, chose the safe option, playing the percentage, but he'll really need to hit it next time, particularly if Hilton can get a treble here. 44. Not really. Ray require 46. Yeah, as you said, he could have gone bullseye, but this is the best option. And he's missed the big 14. You have to go for three, double 16 to make it one all. Game shot in the second leg. Wow. Ray Carver. Got there eventually, made mm, harder leg. work of it Mark than need to be, but that's Rover. the dart that puts Game Ray Carver up. back on terms. But this is his rival. Great charm of this tournament as we get characters. Who would have thought we'd had a, an airline worker, Kevin Stewart, like this? 100! Well, they really come. This is the great thrill of darts, really. Anybody can play it, whether you're a professional man, a lawyer, or a docker. Anybody can take their coat off, step 45. up in the pub, and play the game. And Mark Hilton is a very interesting acquisition on the big stage. Yeah, certainly Ray Carver has met plenty of cabin staff, but not on the stage. On the transatlantic fly, and he does, and that's a 180 from him. And that will settle him down. And another thing what we're going to see in this darts event this weekend, Dave, is so many different throws. Hilton here again has got a strange throw, the way he sights the dart above his left eye. There you see it, and then brings it down level with his nose. Well, he certainly knows where the treble is. 140. So that's a 180, followed up with a 140. He's down at 81. So looking at an 11 dart finish. And for a player on his television debut, this Mark, is quite 81. an impressive leg of darts. Yeah, it certainly is. And what Ray Carver don't want to do is let him get a couple of legs up and get his confidence going because 41. we've all been there, Dave. We've all been a couple of three legs down and the pressure really gets to you. Well, again, that is the magic of this format, this discipline. The little guy can step up and uh, dish out a bloody nose. Mark, and require Mark Hilton, well set here, double top for a 2-1 lead. Just got to edge down. Game That's so, right on leg. cue. 